so now we're on sleeping systems. Um, this will be the first video on the sleeping system section where we're going to go over sleeping bags, sleeping pads, um, probably tents are going to go in there, and then miscellaneous sleeping accessories like pillows and sleeping bag liners and stuff. Um, anyway, so first up, we've got my sleeping bag. Uh, it's a Mountain Hardware Switch, uh, yeah, Switch 20. Um, the reason that it's called the Switch is because it can switch from a 20 degree bag to a another degree bag, I forget which. Um, something slightly warmer and it actually increases the amount of room that you have inside the sleeping bag. So it increases the inside diameter. So you can kind of stretch out just a little bit more and get really, really comfy in this sleeping bag. Um, it's really, really good. I've had it for a couple of years. No problems at all. I mean, it's the, the way that they make their stuff is super solid. And I try and take care of it really well by biting it. Yeah, some kind of flyaway string I've never noticed before. Oh, yeah, there's another one. But anyway, I mean, that thing kind of cool. Zips open and closed. You know, obviously, you can, it's got these big heavy zippers on the other side. It's got, I'll just open it up for you for a second, because it's pretty cool on the inside. Um, it's got a back for the zipper, so you don't ever get that cold air. And then over here, well, just a little pocket, you know. You can put your phone in or your headlamp when you're going to sleep, so you always know where it is. I actually keep... Oh, I thought that was something else. Uh, well, pretend it's something else. These are the tags that came off of the bottom, but um, usually I keep a dryer sheet in here too, just so it keeps it smelling kind of nice. But it doesn't just have one pocket, it has two pockets. It's got a special secret little Velcro pocket behind the zipper pocket, and then it's also got these... Um, These little tags for, uh, or loops, are actually for a liner. And then what you do, the idea there is you get a compatible liner, you put it into the little tabs, and then you just crawl right in. So it's really, really in there well. Um, but, I mean, it's comfortable without a liner. I've slept in it without a liner a couple times. So, really comfy. Really warm when it's cold. It's not cold at all here in Florida right now. It's like 100 degrees, so this doesn't get very much use. But anyway, that's mine. And then my wife's is also a Mountain Hardware Switch. But hers is a 35, so it's not quite as cold. Hers has a nice... Hers is a couple years newer than mine, so it's a little bit newer model. Nice little blue on the inside, which is kind of neat. Um, and it's the women's, so it's cut a little bit different. And also, it's a uh, left-facing bag, so she can zip hers next to mine, and we can zip them together and cuddle, or actually really be very, very warm, even when it's super, super cold out, because you have two hot bodies in a sleeping bag, so you get double the warmth. And that's a really great way to stay warm. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> but again, I mean, the same feature set. It, I didn't show this on the other one, but uh, it's actually got a little drawstring, which you can get to, I believe, from the inside as well. Eh, maybe you can't. It's not hard to get to from the outside, though. So it's got this little shock cord drawstring, so you can pull everything tight and uh, make it really seal around your face if you want. And again, I mean, hers has the little interior pocket doodad too, so she can store whatever she wants in there. So, 
very, very nice facility. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but totally worth it. There's something in there. So. Ooh, booger. Anyway, those are our sleeping bags. <laughs>